गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू सुपर हेल्दी सुपर मॉर्निंग विद डॉक्टर शिल्पी दिवाली टाइम एंड एवरीबडी मज बी बिजी इन द दिवाली प्रिपरेशन एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू डू दिस सीरीज ऑन दिवाली सो दैट इट माइट हेल्प पीपल इट माइट हेल्प यू नो योर चॉइसिस इट माइट हेल्प योर लाइफ स्टाइल इट माइट हेल्प सम डिसीजन मेकिंग towards a sustainable living and towards uh, a new frontier in your life so when it comes to diwali you know diwali is uh, one of the festival of giving and the joy of giving is the most important uh, thing that people you know enjoy at times and there are people who are uh, you know staying away from this joy also only when you give uh, a certain thing or certain things to people do you even recognize the uh, you know happiness that you have in the joy of giving and whenever it is about the joy of giving uh, that we are talking about you have sorry 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 for the disturbance and some small technical glitch and issue okay so when you are talking about the joy of giving uh, only then you will understand what as a person you can uh, enjoy in your life and it is all about the joy of <clears throat> the joy of giving that people uh, you know uh, they it gives a lot of satisfaction and i know uh, so many people out there who really really enjoy uh giving and sharing their their own self uh in terms of gifting in terms of giving their uh best to gift people in terms of the choices that they make in terms of enjoying the feeling of giving and uh, when it comes to you know the choice of giving and gifting um it is very important that nowadays uh when we have good choices you should make a choice of a sustainable gifting option and this is what i want to discuss today <clears throat> because uh as a part and parcel of gifting uh if you can gift something really sustainable something really useful to people that is the need of the art and uh when we have so many small scale businesses running and people are having difficult times due to covid to market their produce and to you know uh to sell their produce it is very very important that we actually give some kind of an interest into it and help small scale farmers uh, small scale industries small scale home based business options a chance to uh, be a part of our gifting options and uh, whenever you gift you know anything maybe it's food stuff maybe it is a decorative item maybe it is uh, something to do with nature you always sh- should look into an aspect of how useful it is you know and how healthy it is that these are the two questions that you should answer yourself before even cha- uh, trying to have the option uh, to be executed and when you think about whether it is uh, uh, say it is healthy uh, for example people are gifting lot of sweets these days sort of lot of uh, goodies these days instead you know instead of giving commercial uh you know items like uh, you know the normal chocolates or uh you know the commercial uh sweets that are available rather i uh, say that you should make something homemade or from some source which they are making it at home uh, and give them uh maybe the traditional food items like laddu or mysore pak or uh the kaju katli or anything that actually the halwa that is actually made at home so if you give something that is actually made at your home then definitely it will look a more of a gesture of love and affection 
and if somebody cannot make anything at home and uh, they have to give some food item actually you can take help of some small scale industries where women are doing this kind of things home based businesses where they are trying to you know meet ends and then gift something that really is going to be very helpful and this kind of uh, diwali gifting option is always always very good and if you have some elders at home who can make traditional food traditional dishes then this is the right time to make something very traditional uh something of your family lineage something that really uh is the speciality of your grandmother or you know of your mother in law of your of your mother or anything that you can make uh, tasty and then gift that that will really go a long way uh, and make people taste that and wait for that dish again and again even in the next uh, diwali time so <clears throat> so making an effort to give uh something very uh, unique is uh, really really important and if you can make it from your kitchen that's the best possible thing or if you can't make it in your kitchen then buy something from somewhere uh, that really is going to help them in some way or the other and making some traditional food items and enjoying traditional food and spreading the lineage of traditional food is the need of the hour rather than some exotic things uh, which are been bought from different different uh, sources in the world rather than that try to execute something sustainable something local something seasonal and something uh, traditional because if we try to keep our lineage of eating local eating seasonal and eating traditional then that is how sustainability lives and that is how sustainability pro you know propagates and this is something that we really really should look into uh, during this diwali and diwali also is about uh, you know a lot of gifts that they give each other other than food and when we are trying to choose a gift <coughs> that that is other than the food item then you should look into options uh, of gifting something really long lasting or th the, that is made of a, out of a natural produce or something that actually depicts nature mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me and when we uh, have to think about such things it is very very important that uh, we look into options that are uh, maybe not that easily you know they they are natural and they are actually used in the house on a regular basis so if i have to give something um, as a gift to somebody i would give some plant or a planter or something that is very close to nature that uh, uh it is really close to us and uh, you should give something that uh really helps uh you reflect as a person and i usually try to give a plant or a planter that actually goes a long way existing right in front of their eyes and it is natural and it is nature based and it improves the you know oxygen around you and it charges the environment around you so giving a plant maybe a money plant or a spider plant or a rubber plant or a aloe vera plant or zizi plant all these you know home based or office based small air purifying plants will definitely help you uh, uh reflect as a person that you are pro nature and it will also uh, help uh, the other person who is receiving it uh, in terms of giving them abundance and uh, good energy and also uh, you know help in uh, purification of air and also help in their health so this is one thing that is really really important that uh, you know whatever you gift in terms of uh, some kind of uh, you know gifts uh, in the, during the diwali season reflects you as a person reflects nature and reflects uh, things that are actually positive and if you are giving <clears throat> anything rather than giving in uh, boxes that Uh, do not have shelf life maybe it is made of some plant material or uh, it is uh, made of some plastic and all these things do not give such things they do not uh, you know uh, give a good reflection of yourself give in non perishable long lasting things like uh, maybe glass bottles or glass jars or uh, you know ceramic 
pots that uh, the normal terracotta pots that really are made by uh, you know made, made by hands or if you want to give some uh, you know steel boxes that do last for a very long time and uh, these kind of gifting options are uh, very very important because uh, when you give these things they are actually used multiple number of times and they are uh, you know easily uh, just not you know kept aside and they are actually useful especially when you are trying to gift you know terracotta pots or anything that is made of clay you are also supporting people who are trying to meet their ends and the, you are trying to support an art form actually uh, is uh, which which has which is neglected these days so try to include stuff that is going to spread the diwali uh, you know diwali joy into somebody else's life also and when you are buying uh, the diyas to the house you can gift actually give those diyas to others also because everybody uses uh, the diyas in their house um, uh, which are made of clay and which are made by small scale people where they are trying to meet their ends so it is very very important that you as a person who are trying to uh, spread the joy of gifting have good choices and when your choice is reflected then definitely uh, it will be helpful for you as a person you will have a good sustainability angle and also help the person the other side who is in the receiving end also adapt to this kind of a uh, phenomena wherein actually if we think about sustainability it is the joy of giving and it is the joy of propagating the positiveness that uh, gives actually the good things in your life and this diwali i want everybody and it why i started this is uh, it should be you know the, the pregnant women should be the beginning beginning of everything because if their choices are healthy if their choices are confident if their choices are being taken care of in the right manner they will also inculcate these kind of right choices into their children into the family into the next generation so it is important that joy of gifting is there everywhere and you uh, during diwali try to uh, inculcate the local produce the local uh, craftsmanship the local groups and also uh, incorporate the seasonal items that we actually make at home and also uh, a sustainable angle wherein you use uh, some kind of a boxes or some kind of a uh, you know packaging thing that is actually going to be nature friendly and it you can use glass you can use terracotta pottery or you can use uh, steel boxes rather than the plastic that we are using and even in the packaging thing you can use something that is really close to nature uh, you can use jute fibers you can use uh, cloth or you can uh, cut the old cloths that you have or some new fabric that you have and make you know small small uh, you know ties out of it and then uh, tie the packaging uh, part of so these things can go in the long way and do not uh, give something is really fancy and it is of no use and do not invest into something that is that has traveled very long i really am an advocate of something local something traditional and something sustainable and uh, in diwali i i do not suggest anybody using any products that are outside india so uh, it is very important that we uh use produce that is local and made in india such a way that uh we include ourselves and uh this diwali should be a festival of lighting for somebody who is looking for that light uh by selling their produce for by selling their products in our country and um it is very fancy and it is very um up up to do when you use something imported something uh expensive in your gifting ideas but if you follow something of your instinct and use local craftsmanship and local uh, you know uh, stuff to give and propagate the gifting idea it will definitely be very good and instead of investing on some kind of a uh, you know uh, sweets that are store bought and we don't know the quality and it's 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 not a healthy option also try to do something in the house or if you can't do anything in the house you can 
even gift dry fruits because dry fruits are definitely very healthy i always tell people to uh, you know uh, gift uh, say cashew nuts or raisins or bad almonds or walnuts or any of these things because even if you eat these things at home or even if you take them home any of the women in the house or children in the house or anybody of them who eat these definitely their health is improved so it also improves your health it also improves your well being and uh, these are some things that uh, uh, should really look into uh, propagating diwali as a as a festival of giving and the, and you should have the joy of giving these kind of options and there are n number of options like this if you have to th- think about sustainable uh, living if you have to think about uh, you know good <coughs> options of gifting and it is very very important that this uh, diwali we spread joy and we spread happiness in whatever way we can and uh, i always tell i am i'm gifted uh, i'm a actually gifted person where in elders in my house have, have i have an access to traditional food traditional food items i am blessed with that kind of a uh, environment in the house where we keep eating local we keep eating traditional foods and we keep you know enjoying our traditional foods on a regular basis during festivities and if otherwise also if people who do not have that kind of a uh, you know environment in the house do take help from women groups and small 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 scale people where they are trying to uh, propagate this kind of local foods and traditional foods into your festivities so it is all about uh sustainability it is all about living life with a beautiful choice and diwali is the best time to propagate your choice of giving choice of loving people and jo- joy of giving is the best thing that anybody can enjoy and uh, this is a small video about that and uh, we will talk about health Uh, and how to take care about uh, diwali food and all these things tomorrow and i wanted to make one video on gifting options because that is the need of the hour and uh, when people are struggling to think what uh, is the right choice i just wanted to demystify certain things and give a simple uh, choice so this is all about uh, uh, diwali gifting and your choices of gifting Thank you all so much for watching. Hi Sri Devi. Hi Radhika. Radhika is watching from Siddhi Pet. And uh, uh, Sri Devi was my colleague. I hope Sri Devi. Hi Sri Devi. Uh, and there are so many people. Sanjukta is my patient. Hi Sanjukta. And on the other side. Thank you all so much for watching. And see you all tomorrow morning, seven thirty. with super healthy super mornings with dr shilpi